Hi, Wolf Recaps here. Today, I'm gonna explain a fantasy movie called Mortal. At the beginning of the movie see Eric Bergland, who has no purpose in his life and is wandering around the woods of Norway with his wounded leg. After a long journey, he decides to build a tent in the middle of the forest and rest there for a night. That night, while sleeping, Eric suddenly becomes emotionally unstable and somehow the trees outside the tent start burning. In the morning, every tree around him has been burnt down, but Eric and his tent remain unharmed. However, the burn wound on his leg is getting worse and he decides to head over to the town nearby. Upon arrival, he goes into a clinic and steals several things to heal his wound. While treating his wound, he realizes that he looks awful. Thus he trims his hair and transforms into a much better looking guy. On his way to nowhere, three troublemaker teens with their dad's Mercedes spot him and attempt to talk to him, but Eric ignores them. One of them, Ol, is unhappy with him and starts harassing the homeless man. Eric warns Ol not to touch him again or he will be burned, but the cocky teen ignores the warning and grabs his jacket. Ol suddenly collapses and dies instantly, without having Eric to touch him. Eric runs off and is subsequently arrested by the local police for murder. The next day, while he awaits extradition back to the United States, the local police chief, Henrik, brings in a psychologist called Christine, hoping that she can make Eric talk. Henrik tells her that the man is also a suspect in an unsolved fire incident at a farm that killed five people three years ago. At first, Eric, who is sitting at the corner of the interrogation room, refuses to talk to her. Somehow Christine manages to convince him to sit at the table, where she calms him down, telling him that it was not his fault and bad things happen. To gain Eric's trust, she suggests Henrik, who is watching from the other room, to have his handcuffs removed. A few moments later, Ola's parents arrive at the police station and his dad, Bjorn, insists to see the murderer, but Henrik rejects the request. After that, Eric finally admits that he killed the people at the farm, who turn out to be his relatives. As they speak, he demonstrates his superpower, pulling the water up from a glass. Christine is confused and asks for an explanation, but Eric also doesn't understand how that happens. Furthermore, he manages to burn the table just by using his hand. Eric suddenly gets emotional again and starts burning the whole interrogation room. Christine concludes that his emotions control his power, thus she approaches Eric and quickly counsels him on how to focus to control his power. He eventually manages to control his emotions and stop the chaos. Not long after, the US Embassy's officer, Hathaway, arrives to bring Eric back to America. He refuses to talk to anyone other than Christine. She warns them not to take Eric with the helicopter because it is too dangerous. They insist, and because of that, Eric is sedated to keep him unconscious during the flight. Eric suddenly awakens in the middle of the flight and starts to panic from being tied up. The doctor cannot give him another dose because he will overdose. Eric somehow creates a thunderstorm which causes the helicopter to lose power and crash into the sea. He then realizes that he can breathe in the water and uses his power to burn the seat belt. He manages to save Hathaway and immediately runs away after she awakens. The search and rescue team begins the search operation in the wreckage and is able to identify three dead bodies. On the other side, Christine sees the news about the helicopter crash and immediately rushes to the scene. Eric suddenly shows up in front of the psychologist's house and she decides to bring him to her friend's cabin in the middle of the forest. He reveals that he receives the power at the farm and explains that the fire incident at the farm was caused by him bursting into flames. At the hospital, Hathaway shows Henrik a proof that reveals Eric's ability to control the weather that caused the helicopter crash. Because of that, she tells the police that they need to find him as soon as possible. The next day, Christine receives a call from her friend, telling her that she is hiding a criminal and suggesting her to turn Eric into the police. After Eric wakes up, she explains the suggestion to Eric and apologizes. Before they depart, Christine suddenly hugs the superhuman and realizes that she has feelings towards him. She changes her mind and decides that she must take Eric back to the farm to understand the origin of the power. Her friend and Henrik keep calling Christine, so she decides to throw her phone away to the water. In the gas station, Christine learns that the police are looking for Eric because he has become the suspect and is responsible for the helicopter crash. While on their way, Eric's explains that he sometimes feels as if he is in a different world where he sees an enormous tree that fills the entire horizon. A few moments later, Christine attempts to overtake a big truck in front of her. Because of that, their car almost collides with a car that is running in the opposite direction. This makes Eric panic and suddenly emits a thunderbolt that destroys their car but somehow it doesn't harm Christine at all. After crashing, the truck driver decides to give them a ride. Not long after, the police arrive at the crash scene. 
where Hathaway states that Eric isn't allowed to reach and get through a bridge that will lead him to the other city. They eventually reach the bridge that the US agent mentioned earlier. However, the police have set up a roadblock. The driver finally realizes that Eric is the man the police have been looking for and immediately stops the truck. They then have no option other than to surrender. Eric gets out of the truck and turns himself in while two police officers keep pointing their gun at him. Christine approaches them and asks them to lower their weapons, but they capture her instead. Eric begs them to release his lover, but they ignore him, causing Eric to rage and lose control. The dark clouds suddenly cover the sky and a thunderstorm occurs. Thunderbolts begins to strike while Eric is screaming in agony. As usual, Christine approaches him and tells him to control his emotions. The police officers keep walking towards them and then Eric uses his power to create a lightning fence until he collapses and the storm subsides. Henrik comes to help and immediately rushes both of them to the hospital. Eric and the bridge incident has become viral and the local people start to believe that he is a god. Some of them even claim that he is Thor. Upon arrival, the wounds on his body are getting worse and he is directly brought to the MRI scanner. Christine tries to keep him calm through headphones. However, when the scanning process begins, Eric accidentally destroys the machine with his power and causes a power outage at the hospital. To make things worse, a nurse appears, saying that a boy has gone into cardiac arrest and needs a direct treatment. Eric immediately rushes towards the ICU when Bjorn, Ola's dad, suddenly shows up and shoots him. Luckily, Henrik manages to calm him down and he eventually lets Eric proceed to the ICU. Using his power, Eric revives the boy and he wakes up from his coma, making his parents cry tears of joy. Since then, Eric has become popular and a lot of people beg him to hold their hand. They then continue their journey to the farm. On their way, Henrik hands over a Norse mythology book to Christine. He explains that after Thor and other gods died in Ragnarok, Thor's children built a farm and they believe it is the same farm where Eric gained his power. Upon arrival, Henrik and the psychologist explore the place while Eric is ordered to wait at the entrance. He follows them and they then come across a ruin where Eric is brought to his knees and unable to move. Henrik believes that something is hidden down there and immediately orders his men to dig the place. On the other side, Hathaway and the US Army arrive and secretly monitor what they are doing waiting for the right time to kill Eric. The team eventually finds a cave under the farm where a lot of ancient Norse runestones. They even discover a depiction of Yggdrasil, the trees Eric talked about earlier to Christine. After the team examines the place, Eric is told it is time for him to go into the cave where he comes across a chest. With one of the team members' help, he opens the chest and discovers Thor's glove, his belt, and his hammer, Mjolnir. Eric then grabs them and wears all the Thor's equipment and suddenly a thunderbolt strikes from the sky. But this time, it doesn't harm his body as the hammer absorbs all the energy. He comes out from the cave and Christine immediately approaches him. Meanwhile, Hathaway orders her sniper to assassinate Eric, but the bullet misses and hits Christine instead, killing her instantly. Eric desperately tries to revive her, but he fails. Eric becomes enraged and uses the hammer to create a massive thunderstorm, ruthlessly attacking people nearby the farm. At the end of the movie, a reporter states that the thunderstorm at the farm has caused a large number of casualties and Eric mysteriously disappeared. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, and leave a like to help the channel out.